Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I'm Diggin' Dave. Picked up eight boxes of dimes. One of the boxes is this style, and the other seven boxes are the Loomis style dimes, but they're all circulated. I didn't see any silver enders or anything, but that's okay. So this is going to be box number one. Circulated dimes are mainly just looking for silver. So let's get digging. Fingers crossed we can find some silver. All right, guys, I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm just on dime box number one. I'm on roll like number 10 or 11, I think. I just cracked this roll open. I have a super thin, worn down looking silver edge. At least I think it's silver. I hope it's not just like a dirty, a dirty dime. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> Well, that's a nice way to start the video. 1900. Oh, I think this is the, this is the third barber dime I've ever found coin roll hunting. That is incredible. 1900. I don't think that's like a low mintage year or anything, but a barber dime, 124 years old. Just found coin roll hunting. I swear, guys, doing this box, I have haters who are probably going to say, "Oh, it's fake this and that." I don't fake my videos. I just show you guys what I find. Roll number 10. I think 10 or 11. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. Let's keep on digging. Well, it's kind of odd. Only got the one silver in box one. No other silver, but I guess if we're going to get one silver, a barber dime is not too bad. I'd call that a win. So just the one silver, a 1900 barber dime. Nothing else in box one. So let's keep on digging into dime box number two. Hopefully this is a good sign, guys. I'm only on roll number five of box two, so early in the box. Oh, yeah, I'm going to guess a 64 because it looks nice and shiny. It looks like a silver dime. Oh, no, 1962 Philadelphia, but look at the condition of that. Wow, that is actually beautiful. All right, let's keep on digging. We're still on box number two, roll 25, so exactly at the halfway point. This was almost an ender right here. Look, one dime away from being an ender. Oh, yeah, another silver. Silver number two for box two in 1961. Out of Denver. Let's go. Hopefully the boxes keep producing the silver. Nice. All right, not a bad box. No more silver in box two, but we're going to end with two silvers. 61 Denver and that beautiful 62 Philadelphia. Hopefully there's more silver in box three. Let's keep on digging. Roll 14 of box three. Going to have another silver dime for the video. Let's go. So it's going to be a rosy. I'm going to guess in the 50s it looks a little older. Yep, 1959. At least we're finding some silver, guys. Awesome. Roll 35 of box three. I'm seeing another silver edge there, guys. I'm happy we're finding some silver. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a rosy again. Denver Mint Mark. Another older one. Nice. 1951 out of Denver. Again, silver dime number two for box three. 15 rolls left in box three. Let's keep on digging. Guys, let's go. Only two rolls later on box three. Roll 37. Silver dime number three for box three. And this one's going to be a 1964. Three silver dimes so far for box three. Let's go. That's going to do it for box three. Great box, guys. Three silver dimes, a 51, a 59, and a 64. So we've done three boxes, and we're at six silver dimes so far. Hopefully it keeps up. Let's keep on digging into box number four at the halfway point. Goal 19 of box four, guys. I almost missed it. I almost missed it, but then I looked closer. This right here is going to be a silver dime. See, it's not as white as the others. It's a little more kind of... Has more of a dull color. 1960 Denver. It counts though. 
So far, we have found silver in every box. We're on box four. Let's keep on digging. Well, it's picking up. Only two rolls later, roll 21 of box four. Right there. That sure looks silver to me, guys. Uh, no mint marks of Philadelphia. 1964. Look at that gold toning. Guys, we're on the silver in this hunt. Hopefully it keeps up. Awesome. 1964 silver dime. Silver dime number two for box four. Let's keep on digging. Let's go. Roll number 45 of box four. We already have two silver dimes. I think we're going to have another three silver dime box. Box three had three silvers, but who knows? We could have another silver in the last five rolls or more. Who knows? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a silver dime here in roll 45. Glad we're on the silver, guys. Oh, first year. Let's go. 1946, Philadelphia. That is the third silver dime here for box four. Five rolls left in box four. Let's keep on digging. Another great box. Box number four, just like box three. Three silvers. 46, a 1960, and a 64. Let's keep on digging into box number five. Roll number 24 of box five. We're going to have a silver dime. Oh, it's going to be a mercury dime. Let's go. Philadelphia. And it's going to be 1941. Awesome. That's the first mercury dime of this video. That is awesome. 1941 Philly. Sweet. Let's keep on digging. Roll 41 of box five. I don't think it's a silver. At first I thought it was a silver, guys, but it looks a little too shiny. I think it's probably going to be a Canadian dime. Yep, I've been doing this long enough. I got a good eye. It does not look silver. Yeah, 1979. Not going to be silver, but that's the first foreign coin for this hunt. Let's keep on digging. I was really hoping for a second silver diamond box five. We're on roll 45. I think we're going to get another silver dime. Let's go. This one's going to be a rosy, it looks like. Yep, 1957. Philadelphia. Look at the toning on that, guys. That has some beautiful toning. So we got a 41 Mercury Diamond, now a 57 Philly. Uh, silver Diamond Box 5. Five rolls to go. Man, we're on the silver, guys. Let's keep on digging. Another good box, guys. Two silvers in Box 5. Boxes 3 and 4 each had three silvers. Not three in Box 5, but two silvers is still good because one of them was a Mercury Dime 1941, a 57 Rosie. We got that Canadian Dime as well. So far, we've had silver in every box. Fingers crossed. Box number six will have a little silver too. Let's keep on digging. Well, unfortunately, box six was a skunk. The first skunk, no silver box of the video. Nothing in box six. Hopefully box seven and eight produce some more silver. Let's keep on digging to box seven. Let's go, guys. Box number six was a skunk. Only on roll number two of box seven. Oh, yeah. Looking like a silver. Yep. I'm going to guess. I haven't looked at it, guys, I promise. I'm going to guess 1954. Oh, 1952. I was close. It looked a little older. 52 Denver. Beautiful. Let's keep on digging. Only on roll number four of box seven, and we're going to have another silver. Second silver dime for box seven. Um, hopefully this is a really good box. I mean, it's already a good box. Two silvers out of the first four rolls of 50 rolls in the box. So hopefully there's a lot of silver here in box seven. 1957. All right, guys. Yeah, like I said, we have a 50... We have a 52 Denver and a 1957. Two silver dimes and only four rolls. So hopefully it keeps up. If I start finding a lot of silver in box seven, I'll uh, open some rolls live. Let's keep on digging. Well, all right, guys. I was hoping for more silver in box seven. We got two silvers early in the box, uh, 52 and a 57. But the rest of box seven, no more silver. But two silvers, still a good box. We have one box left for this video, box number eight. 
Hopefully we can end the video off on some more silver. Let's keep on digging. I was getting a little worried. Box number eight, I'm on rule 44. Finally, we got a silver here in box number eight. I was really hoping the last box, box number eight here, would not be a skunk box. But we're going to have at least one silver here in box number eight. It's going to be a 1960 out of Denver. Awesome. Let's keep on digging. It's funny how coin boxes work sometimes, guys. Really, haven't found anything until the end. That silver. Now I'm on roll 47. And there's another silver. I really thought this was going to be a skunk box because we weren't finding anything. And right here at the end of the box, we're going to get two silver dimes. That is awesome. And this is going to be a 1964. 64 Denver. So we went from zero silvers in box eight to two silvers. We have three rolls left. Let's keep on digging. Guys, what the heck? Roll 49. Box eight. Another silver. We just got like three silver dimes within a few rolls of each other. I really thought this was going to be a skunk box. It just goes to show, guys, you never know. All of a sudden, you can just find some silver. 1955. 55 Philadelphia. We went from no silvers within a couple rolls, three silver dimes. One roll left for box eight in this video. Let's keep on digging. Well, that's how I like to end a dime hunt video, guys. Box eight started off slow, but towards the end there, we got three silver dimes. So the only skunk box for this video was box number six. So box eight, give me a 55, a 60, and a 1964. Let's go ahead and do a quick wrap up for this eight box dime hunt. All right, guys, here's the wrap up for eight boxes of dimes. I would say this was a very successful eight box or $2,000 dime hunt. Here's a rundown box one, one silver, box two, two silvers. Boxes three and four each had three silvers each. Box five, two silvers, box six, no silver. Box seven, two silvers, and box eight, three silver. So we got a total of 16 silver dimes from eight boxes. So 16 silvers divided by eight boxes, that's easy. An average of two silver dimes per box. That's good because I know some people struggle to find one silver a box. And um, I see a lot of people on YouTube going through multiple dime boxes and not finding one silver dime. So I've been uh, pretty lucky lately. Let's zoom in a little bit here if we can. So here we go. Oh, I don't need to zoom in that far. But what we have, guys... We got a 1946, a 51, a 52, a 55, two 57s, a 59, two 1960s, a 61, a 1962, three 1964s. And then we can't forget in box one, we got that 1900 Barber Dime. Just incredible. 124 years old. And we got one Mercury Dime, so I'm happy to find a Mercury Dime, 1941 Philly. So again, we got a total of 16 Silver Dimes, one being a Barber Dime, a Mercury Dime. 14 of the Silver Dimes are Rosies, which is totally fine. Only one foreign coin, kind of light on the foreign coins, that 1979 Canadian Dime. Hope you guys enjoyed this 8-box Dime Hunt. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And until next time, keep on digging.